Hey angels, so I'm coming on here really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry if you didn't make you jump, I didn't mean to. I'm coming on here just to have a quick chat with you. It's just something I've noticed over the last couple of times where I've tried to play Rotational Families on PlayStation 4 because I, we haven't managed to get hold of the PlayStation 5 yet, sadly. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Coughing because of my hay fever. Um, basically, it's causing a lot of lag. I don't know if it's because of the Rotational Families itself or the game just doesn't let me play rotationally basically at the moment so i'm sadly gonna have to delete the families that i so love to play right now it's just frustrating to me because i just want to enjoy the game but it's just lagging so much so i think my only solution now is to just delete the save and stick uh, change all of the gameplay um, things I had on back to um, where all the sims age and they fill up houses and it does that because right now it's just it's not doing any good basically I feel like if I keep playing rotationally my game's gonna break properly because it's just like it, I load it it lags I play on it for an hour, well not even an hour, it lags to the point that my sims are just standing there for ages doing nothing and I have to keep saving to get them to move or resetting a certain sim to get them to remove. So I'm going to try completely scrapping them, putting all the gameplay to how I had it before I did rotational families and just play with one family and get through them as much as I can. It sucks because I just want to play the game, but I'm dealing with a lot of lag and it's very frustrating. And I'm, like I said, I'm really worried with these two updates that we're having this month, which the Sims team have confirmed today. The eleventh of May, we've got a we've got a a smaller one coming for bug fixes, and then a bigger one later in the month. So that's kind of worrying me, and it's made me quite nervous. So I am going to just try my best and play the game the way I can. I will probably getting my any siblings that my sims have I will probably get them married let them have a kid that sort of thing but one after I will keep trying to carry on the generations that I can but and we'll see what happens but for right now the rotational families I can't do that on this it's just not working very well and it's stressing me out so I will talk to you angels later but I'm just letting you know that is what's going on so any videos you see you see of rotational families that I've played they're gone I can't my game won't allow it so yeah I grew up playing the Sims 2 for the most part. Um, my mum played The Sims 2 all the time. I watched my mum play The Sims 1. My mum has all The Sims 1 and all The Sims 2. We started collecting The Sims 3, but we didn't manage to get them all because we were dealing with lag issues and stuff with that. And I have so far all the collection of The Sims 4 and I've only got it on console. And it's lagging to an annoyingly amount. 
So I am going to sort my game options out. Actually, I should have done that before I clicked create sim. But I'll do it before I place the family. Because I'm just... I can't enjoy it when the game's just lagging all the time. So I'm hoping that we get a lag fix soon. I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, I'll talk to you angels more later. Bye for now.